on the Avon. Uh, my name is Sam. I'll be your punter for today. So uh, today we'll be going on about a half an hour journey. Let's go upstream first, about a kilometre, then we'll uh, return back to here. If anybody has any questions along the way, if there's uh, anything you'd like to know about, please let me know. Otherwise, you can all just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy your journey. Christchurch. This is our first morning here and what are we doing Toby? We are going hunting on the Avon. Come with us. So we are now hunting on the Avon. It's been a wonderful little experience. Sam's doing an awesome job back here. We're cruising along, enjoying the sights. And now we're going to be headed to the Botanical Garden. Christina, how excited are you? Pretty excited. Why are you so excited? Because we're in a gorgeous rose garden. And I love roses. How's it smell? It smells really good. We're here in the rose garden and um, as I'm walking around and thinking about which ones I'd like to photograph, um, I always try to keep in mind to find the best light to make the roses look their best. So for example, right here we have a bush and it's partly lit and partly shaded. So what I'm going to do, you have a couple of options actually. You can just photograph the clusters of roses that are uh, fully shaded, so you've got some really nice, even light, or uh, to add more, more um, dynamic range to your image and uh, more depth to it, you can also photograph roses that are backlit. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to find the roses that are lit by the sun from behind, and I'm going to get in really close I'm actually shooting with my 50 millimeter right now. Uh, so I'm gonna get as close as possible and I'm gonna shoot at a fairly shallow depth of field or, or fairly wide aperture. Try to get a really shallow depth of field and just isolate them and frame them uh, with all the leaves. All right, so we're making our way around Lake Pukaki here in the Mount Cook National Reserve is the area where we are. Um, absolutely stunning scenery. The color of the water is amazing. Mount Cook in our background. What do you want to say? Um, just that this is a breathtaking place and uh, you know, as much as you can try to do it justice with pictures, still Did you not like compare it? to actually being If you there. like it, I like it. Unbelievable. Well, that's, that's it really right. is. Right. And this is one of those classic cases of, I think, people who are beginners would think to whip out a wide angle and incorporate this whole landscape in. But in reality, that's just going to make Mount Cook look kind of puny. Yeah. And you want it to really stand out and look as large as it is. So using a pretty long lens. Um, you know, 50, 85, 70 millimeters uh, is really going to help bring, uh, bring the mountains into the foreground more and make them appear That's right. bigger. Here, hand me my. I'm shooting with the, the Sony, um, which is what I've been shooting with most of this trip, and the 70 to 200. And I'm up somewhere between 135 and 200 on a full frame camera. So, telephoto. So we've made our way into the park and are now standing on the balcony of our hotel. The view is, I don't know, so-so? Maybe one way to describe it? Christina, how would you describe it? I don't have words to describe it. Yeah, I'm being funny. 
that's what we're looking at staying in our balcony folks i feel safe in saying that this is the most beautiful scenic view ever yeah certainly ever um i've ever stood on a balcony of a hotel and looked at it's unbelievable that is mount cook we see the glaciers I don't know the name of these this ridge that runs up to our left here with additional glaciers and snow capped peaks. This uh, our driver, the bus driver coming in. He's been here about seven times since October, and this is the first time he says that he's seen these mountaintops um, in many years. They're just usually socked in in clouds. We can see a little bit of clouds over there, but it is incredibly beautiful. The temperature is fantastic. And uh, we're headed out to dinner in a little bit and then to do some stars. So I know this looks a little spooky, but uh, this doesn't kill my night vision, lighting myself with red. It's about two in the morning. Uh, we didn't shoot any other video out here tonight because uh, I was mostly teaching and Christina was shooting uh, photos. And... Um, yeah, we just didn't. We just were helping people get epic star shots. Uh, some people were shooting stars, just star nice shots with the Milky Way because this is one of the most amazing places to shoot night skies in the world. And then that's not a hyperbole. It just really is. Uh, some people were shooting uh, shorter, long exposures to stack those and make them into uh, star trails. Which, you know, it's just one of those memories that I'm going to have with me for the rest of my life, standing out here with fun people, friends, and taking awesome pictures in an amazing location.